I'm showing the dairy industry, I'm showing the egg industry, the fish industry, and the meat industry. So th pigs, these are right? standard practice. What? Pigs. Yeah, pigs, uh, all, all the animals. Um, yeah, these are the standard practices all over the world. This is, gra uh, this is free range, uh, grass fed, uh, humane certified. This is the best of the best. Uh, this is the, the standard practices. So how do you feel when you see, when you see this? Good. Not good? And you? All right. Do you feel hungry when you see this? No. No? Would you eat in a place like this? Maybe not. So if it's not good enough for your eyes, how come it's good enough for your stomach? I mean, I've had enough to drink. <clears throat> Sorry? I've had enough to drink and I don't care. Right. Yeah. And so uh, everybody knows by now it's absolutely unnecessary to eat uh, animals and their secretions, meaning eggs and dairy. Do you know this? You don't know? It's unnecessary. I'm asking you if you think it's necessary to eat animals. Yeah. Is necessary? Yeah. And uh, if, if you don't eat animals, what happens to, to you then? Energy. Yeah, you, have, you don't have much energy if you stop, uh, uh, you know, eating animals? Depends on who you are, I guess. So, and, and so, um, the athletes who decide to be plant-based, not vegan, because yeah. there's a difference between being plant-based and, and vegan, all the athletes that are actually now plant-based uh, and they, they, they do it to, to improve their athlete's performance, then how do you explain this? So it works for them. And the bodybuilders as well. They don't do very well. Oh, can you prove it to me, please? Because I can prove you otherwise. Do you have any links that you can send me or anything? Because I have never uh, read anything of the sort. Who's a plant-based bodybuilder? I have a whole list if you want. Do you want to take the, Q the QR? I have a whole list in here. Sure. All right, so take the QR then. The QR with the mobile phone, yeah? Let's see. Here. Inside this QR, among other things, you have, you have a website. It's called Adapt. And you have the section where it talks about athletes. So if you're really interested, uh, you can see that. But... Uh, I'm uh, suggesting you to do it otherwise. I mean, you don't have to depend on this website, right? And you, you're intelligent enough, I think. And if you Google, you'll see what is nonsensical and what is real, right? So that's why I'm here. I'm trying to make people question things. And, uh, and I'm trying, you know, because people are very dishonest when it comes to talking to this. I don't know why, but, well, I know why. They're very dishonest. And I'm trying people to be honest with themselves, with me, and to see if they're aligning the moral values with their actions. Are you against animal abuse? Are you against this? Yes? Is there anything that justifies animal abuse? Nothing justifies animal abuse? So therefore, the taste doesn't justify animal abuse either, right? Because humans, uh, you know, uh, uh, civilized people, I don't know if you'll agree with this, civilized people require more than sensory pleasure to justify an action, yeah? Because if it wasn't like this, then rapists uh, you know, they, they, they could say, okay, uh, ripping uh, gives me pleasure, that therefore it's justifiable, right? And if you still think that it's necessary to eat meat and their secretions, eggs and dairy, would you also do your little uh, research and find out that it's not like this? Uh, for instance, here you have this. Uh, it's in English if you want to take the QR and read it. <coughs> I have another list here, another QR with 50 organizations, very well-known organizations that clearly state that it's absolutely unnecessary to eat animals and their secretions. I'm actually very surprised that you guys don't know this yet. Uh, and not only unnecessary, but it's absolutely unhealthy. All the uh, 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 illnesses that people uh, you know, suffer from nowadays, like diabetes 2, heart attacks, they're completely uh, reversible by, by adopting a, a plant-based diet. Would you, would you do your little research about this, or you don't care? Uh, I don't know if that's... You, you don't care about this, What's yes? What's the difference between plant-based and vegan? You don't care about finding out that it's absolutely, un, un, you know, that it's even unhealthy. You don't care about this? No. You don't care. So if you don't care about the things that I'm saying, why are we talking? Uh, maybe. Because you're going to abuse animals anyway, regardless of all the information that I'm going to give you. What's the difference between plant-based and vegan? The difference? Yeah. Okay. Uh, in my particular case, uh, when I was 14, I decided to stop eating animals and their secretions. I had no idea uh, about what the animals go through. I just did it for health reasons. Yeah. 
and I did it to improve my, my athletic performance. <clears throat> and I became vegan in 2010. And so when I became, when I stopped eating animals and their secretions, that was in the 70s. And in 2010, I decided to go vegan. Go vegan has nothing to do with a diet. It has nothing to do with health. And it has nothing to do with the environment. It is about uh, ethics, morality. It's about the animals that, that are suffering horribly. Well, what would, what would, what's the difference between plant-based and vegan? I guess that, that's on a, like, uh, somebody's plant-based and somebody's vegan. The, what's the, what, um, Somebody's plant-based, are they eating no, they, sometimes no, or something like that? No, that... no, no. Plant-based, they eat exactly like vegans, but they do it for different reasons. Oh, okay, okay. So it's the same, it's the same diet? Yeah. Okay, okay. So we talk about 80 billion, anim, uh, you know, billion animals, land animals a year that uh, are killed unnecessarily. And we're talking about 3 trillion fish. And as you probably know, in 2048, if we, if we uh, keep fishing like this, there will, there will be no fish left. But I'm not here to talk about the environment anyway, because people who don't give a shit about this, about the animals going through the most horrific... Uh, I mean, they don't care about the environment either. And they don't care about their health either. So do you care about... Tell me what you care about, about uh, 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 apart from yourselves. Is there anything that you're interested in? The environment maybe? Health reasons maybe? Because I told him if he wanted to do, uh, he told me, I, I think it's necessary to eat animals and their secretions. So I gave him the, the QR. Um, and I am sure, and, and please correct me if I'm wrong, if you ever check this and you realize that it's absolutely unnecessary, and, and you also realize that it's unhealthy, I am sure that you're going to eat animals anyway. Am I right? I, I, I don't think it's unhealthy. No, 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 but you don't understand me. No, but, but you, you, no, no, but you, yeah, I understand. No, but you don't understand me. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying you think now that it's uh, bad for, for, for your health. Uh, I know you still think that it's absolutely fantastic. But I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is, imagine for a second that you know that it's very unhealthy. And you, did, you do your own research and you find out it's bad for the environment as well. The, the thing that I'm telling you is, is that I'm absolutely sure that you, you would eat animals anyway. Okay. I'm absolutely sure. But what I think is irrelevant. So how, how about you? This, this, uh, does this affect you really or, or not? It does, sure. Yeah. And, and why are you going to slice the throat of innocent animals again? If it's not necessary. If it's unnecessary, then it's morally uh, uh, unjustifiable. So why are you going to choose to be cruel? This is what I don't understand from humans. Uh, it's not easy. What do you mean it's not easy? If you go to somebody's house and you're a guest and they're serving you food, it's easier just to accept whatever they serve. Oh, that's that's the, that's a problem. Do you think that's a big that's do you think that's a a, a justification to to actually pay this every day? No, I understand, but you're asking. Uh, you're not asking for a justification, you're just asking for like an understanding. If, yeah, if your friends, right? yeah, I understand. I'm like wondering what like an understanding is. I, I, it doesn't mean that one weighs differently on the moral compass than another, or one is more or less viable, more valid, right? Because I, I agree that you're totally right. Oh, it's easy to eat this, but it justifies what's happening here. That doesn't weigh out. But at the time, you don't think about this. It's hard to. But that's exactly why I'm here. I want people to pay attention. I want people to pay attention to this and realize that they're paying for this and therefore they're responsible for this. Yeah. And, and see if they're aligning the moral values with their actions. Some people have other values and they don't care about this. They might say like you, yourselves, oh yeah, yeah, this is horrific. Oh yeah, we're against animal abuse. And next thing you do, you, you eat a burger. So it doesn't make any sense. You're not aligning your moral values with your actions. If those values are the ones you say you have, that is. I know, it's a paradox. Yeah, so what are you going to do about it? Maybe nothing today, but maybe later. But thank you. All right. Do you want uh, more QRs or anything? Or you want to contact me on Facebook or whatever? No, but I appreciate your time. Okay, thank you. Good night. Thank you. Industrie du lait, des œufs, des poissons et de la viande.